so it's just really really pretty and it's a neutral smoky and what I mean by that is that the lid itself does not have dark colors on it the smokiness is really just concentrated under the lower lash line and around the actual upper lash line and really the secret to this look is just blending I that's why it's really a really pretty neutral smoky eye um, and then it has a little bit of a gold pop so you'll see everything I use there on my cheeks it's shimmery and my lips are just kind of a pink but just you know wearable so a very neutral um, shade for the lid I'm using rice paper by MAC it's just a really pretty yellow neutral color I'm using my Sigma E55 brush which is by far my favorite brush that Sigma makes so I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of the rice paper and I'm putting this on my whole entire lid in the crease what I'm doing is I'm using a big fluffy brush like this. This is the Sigma E40 and it's really big and fluffy. Very, very large. I'm actually going to place my crease color with the blending brush. Using a blending brush to actually apply the color is going to make it overall look very, very soft and airbrushed, which that's kind of the look I want to go for. And the color that I'm going to be using is Satin Taupe by MAC, which looks like this. When I first place it, I'm going to kind of do like a windshield just to kind of get the color where I really want it and then kind of in the outer do a little circle motion and literally just blend 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 you can't blend enough with this look it's very blended and soft and if you want to blend the edges because I brought it up quite a bit just use your fingers most of the smoke smokiness in this um, tutorial is going to be coming from around the lash line on the bottom and the top so I want to keep this fairly soft so what you need is either a very very soft black eyeliner pencil which the one I'm using is the Urban Decay 24 7 and 0 which is just the black um, if you don't have a very soft pencil like this definitely you could use a gel line warm up a harder pencil on the back of your hand and then use like a slanted brush like this to pick it up and apply it but since this is so creamy that's all I really need so I'm just going to smudge this along the upper lash line underneath just a little bit in the outer corner then I'm actually going to take a small angle brush to kind of blend this out underneath and the waterline I'm using a pencil brush. I'm using creep it's in the Urban Decay Naked palette I like it because it has a little bit of glitter so it just is a really really pretty color and I'm literally just going to tap like one two and the color is very intense and tap off a little bit of that and I'm just going to place it along the lash line and blend out. Put it underneath, blend it out. Now just for some fun, you can see over here I have some gold, which I really like to add a little bit of warmth to an eye like this. So I'm actually going to be taking Half Baked, it's in the Urban Decay Naked Palette as well. Really, really pretty. And just put it underneath the black. I'm also going to bring it just around the tear duct. And then go back in with your shader brush. Don't put any more color on it, but just kind of blend the two together. For my highlight, I'm going to be using Virgin in the Naked Palette as well. Just a soft, not too shimmery kind of white. Just place it under the brow. Nothing too shimmery because we don't want the attention to be on our highlights really. We just want it to be, to look kind of a nat like a natural smoky eye. You bring a little bit up here just to brighten that area. Blend it up, but nothing too shimmery, nothing too white. I'm going to apply my mascara. I'm using the Maybelline Colossal Volume. I'm going to be applying false lashes. As you can tell, I think it just really makes the look prettier and it pulls it all together. The lashes that I'm going to be using are the Lash, lash Addiction Lashes, and the actual um, style is called Gorgeous. This is how they look. I find that lashes with a more pointy um, edge like that just look more natural on me and I will just zoom really pretty with most of the darkness on the lash line before the cheeks really? I've decided to use a really pretty just kind of raspberry shimmery color um, and I already actually applied bronzer to my whole face with the large F30 powder brush by Sigma and I'm just going to use the same brush for my cheeks and I'm actually using Petticoat. It's a mineralized skin finish by MAC. And it's really pretty. It has like 
raspberry veining and also the lighter color is just going to act as a highlight. So it's really, really pretty. Just going to swirl my brush in here and place it on my cheeks. So it gives it a highlight with the same time it's adding color. So I really like that. Do you see that sheen that it's giving compared to this side? It's just really pretty. Apples blend out. This is um, Cream Cup by MAC. It's just really pretty and natural. Put a little gloss on top. I'm just going to be using a nice clear one and it's scented and bubblegum flavored. It's by Philosophy. It's one of my all-time favorites. And there's a slight pink tint to this and the smell is amazing. So especially for a Valentine's Day or a date night look, a scented gloss can never hurt. This is the best scented gloss ever. Oh my god, it smells so, so, so yummy. Okay, so I'm actually going to go do my hair and change. I'm wearing like a white t-shirt right now. And I will be back for like the whole finished look. Okay, so here is the finished look. It's very pretty. Everything's all put together. My earrings, everything. It's just a really, really pretty look and very kind of sweet. So I hope you guys like this. Don't forget to check out polishandpearls.com, my blog. Lots of pictures on this look. So... I hope you guys have a great day. I will put my Twitter and Facebook below too if you want to check those. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will talk to you soon.